Hey, this is Victor with Your Best Body Blueprint, and today I'm going to make a dish that I absolutely love. A lot of keto dishes I have changed around because there's just things that I didn't like about it. This recipe is perfect. So we're going to make Chris Cooking Nashville's mashed potatoes right after this. When I first saw this recipe, I looked at the ingredients and I'm like, there is no way this is going to be good. Then I watched somebody else make it. I kept checking back and I see other people commenting like it's phenomenal. So I'm like, well, I love mashed potatoes, so it's worth a shot. And I am telling you, if you follow this recipe, the way he has written it, they are phenomenal. My son could not tell the difference in these potatoes and regular mashed potatoes. So Thanksgiving is never going to be the same again. Now I'm not going to put the recipe in here. I'm going to leave a link to his video right down there so that you can watch it. Since it's not mine, I can't take credit for it. Um, so you'll go on his video, get all the ingredients, but I'm going to show you how I cook it. And you just got to taste it for yourself. You will be blown away. So these are all the ingredients you're going to need for Chris cooking Nashville's carnivore mashed potatoes. And again, I'll put the link below so that you can go and get the exact recipe and make it yourself. But what you're going to need is some Parmesan cheese. You're going to need mozzarella and you're going to need the fresh mozzarella, not the kind that you cut off the block because it needs to have a lot of moisture in it to make this recipe work. You're going to need some cream cheese. You're going to need butter. You're going to need egg whites. You're going to need beef gelatin powder and toasted beef gelatin powder. You're going to need white pepper. You're going to need some salt and some garlic powder. You're going to need sour cream and you're going to need egg white powder. Now I know these all seem like really weird ingredients, but trust me, once you try it, it tastes just like mashed potatoes and you're going to love it. So for this recipe, I'm going to use my new wave induction cooktop. I love to use this because I can control the heat really to the exact temperature that I want it to be. So I'm going to put this one between medium, low and medium. You want to make sure and cook it on a low temperature either way so that the egg whites do not brown. You want them to stay white so that it keeps that mashed potato color. So we'll get all the egg whites in there and then I'm going to start the seasoning. So I'm going to put in the garlic powder and the salt and you just put that right in there while it's cooking and we'll mix it around just a little just to make sure it's fully incorporated in through there. Um, now you can melt the butter before you start this process, but I found out that it works just fine by doing this, mixing it up. And just keep mixing it until that salt and the garlic is fully incorporated in there. And then once it started warming up just a little bit, I'm going to go ahead and add that butter in. And we're going to let that butter melt. So it'll take just a little bit of time because, of course, we're using a lower temperature. And I'm just going to break that butter up a little bit just to make it melt a little bit faster. You just don't want to leave it sitting for a long time. You're going to melt that butter and what you're going to be left with is the butter solids and the cooked egg whites. So now we're just going to let that sit for a little bit to melt the butter. And as it goes down, I'm just going to use this spatula. And I do apologize for the the blurriness of it. <laughs> I've got to get a better camera. But right now, I just kind of wanted to show you what it looks like. And 
And I'm going to speed it up through this to show you what it looks like once it's cooked for a few minutes. So you can see those egg whites are starting to scramble up a little bit. So you just want to keep working with it like that. And just keep breaking them up and check out if you've got any liquid left in there like that. Then just break it up a little more and keep going until all that liquid is basically gone. So you can see right here, that's starting to look pretty good. You still got a little bit of liquid left in there, but not much, but we're gonna go just a little bit longer. And so now, when you turn it up like that, there's hardly any liquid left, and that's when you're done with this part. And this is what it looks like when you're finished. Now I've already added in all of the ingredients to the blender. Watch his video to show you how to do that. And you're going to want to open your blender every once in a while, scrape down the sides until you get that perfect texture. And at this point, you're going to want to taste them and see if you need to add any more salt. I like a little bit more salt in mine, so I added a little bit more. Now, one thing I do that Chris Cooking Nashville does not mention is I do like to put a little bit of black pepper in mine. So I'm going to transfer them to a bowl, add some black pepper, and a little bit more black pepper. And now they are perfect. So the hardest part of that whole recipe is just the time that it took the egg whites to cook. Other than that, it is a simple recipe. You just need to make that toasted gelatin ahead of time. And it is an essential ingredient in this recipe. But you serve this at Thanksgiving, nobody's going to know that it's carnivore. It's perfect. So thank you to Chris Cook in Nashville for putting together this recipe. It is awesome. This will be a staple in our house from now on. And I don't know how you did it, what kind of wizardry or sorcery you used to come up with this recipe. With those ingredients tasting like real mashed potatoes, I mean, it's... It's crazy. It blows my mind <laughs> how this thing tastes. But anyway, I appreciate you making it. And I appreciate everybody that supports this channel. You put a little gravy with it. And if you like videos like this, reviewing other people's recipes, as well as creating my own. And I do keto hacks. I do keto recipes that are going to save you money over store-bought versions. And I try to bring just general keto knowledge so that we can spread this message as much as possible. So with that being said, please share this video and like this channel and of course subscribe. And you'll keep seeing videos like this. I enjoy making them. I hope you guys enjoy watching them and hopefully I'll see you on the next video.